Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. I got an email from someone named Daniel, and they said, Hey Ruben, I just bought your course about the electric VST guitars from Amplesound, and I am impressed with what is possible with a VST guitar. Do you think it's possible to create the sound of the guitars of these following songs with just a VST guitar? Or do you think that recording a real guitar is way more realistic than with the VST? That I should not even compare VST with the real guitar? And one of the songs mentioned was Sidewalks by The Weeknd featuring Kendrick Lamar. Of course, if you have a guitar and all the effects and amps and you can play it, that's always the best option. Nothing compares to the real thing. But if you don't and you want to try to do this on your own, then using a virtual guitar is the next best thing. This is a reproduction I created. I didn't spend too much time on the drums or matching the bass because I wanted to create a quick exercise to show that it is possible. But here's the exercise I created. Now, just as a bit of info, I'm using Battery 4, I'm using Easy Bass, and I'm using the Gospel Bass with the Amp and Sub. I have some EQ on it to boost those low frequencies. The reason I'm using Easy Bass is because I like the, I like the slide that you can trigger on it. And for the guitar chords, I'm using Apple Guitar Stratocaster with the Fender Amplifier. I have some drive on it. However, I'm using Spring Reverb on this, and for Spring Reverb, because Ample Sounds plugins don't have a Spring Reverb plugin, I'm using Amplitude 5, and I just have the 63 Reverb. For the actual melody, I'm using Ample Guitar Peregrine Falcon. The reason I'm using this one, although um, the tone is not exactly the way I want it to be, is because this has the highest range. This goes all the way up to E5, which you need for this melody. All the other guitars only go up to C, I believe, C5. I'm using the Lead 800 with some pre-drive on it, and uh, Presence is up a little bit. You can check my settings here. I have normal reverb settings, although I can take this off. But I am also using the Amplitude Spring Reverb. It doesn't have to be Amplitude that you use, but if you have that, or if you have uh, another third-party Spring Reverb, I recommend that. Okay, let's go in. This is only about four measures long. Rather than doing it from the beginning, I'm just going to show you what I did. So, uh, I have these four notes at the beginning. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's a slide here. So, with the slides, you want to make sure that you don't program in in the higher note because that's going to be done with the pitch bend. Let me solo this. All right, so in your parameters lane, open up pitch bend. So I have an F sharp and I'm going to go ahead and set this to 16th notes. So this is beat one, 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 and a, one, and uh, this comes in on the end. One and a two and. One and a two and. There's a B right there because the B bends up to C. And right here you can see there is a full bend. So when I create a bend, I create it at the start of that note. And then, so I click this here and then I click where I want it to bend up to. Right here is a full bend, so that's a whole step. Now here, I have a palm mute. I'm not sure if they actually use a palm mute. I'll, all I know is I heard a short note. And then I trigger the regular sustain so we can get the full tone. It's very easy to do that. 
Then I have this triplet pickup coming into the next melody. I set my grid to 16 note triplets and then I triggered a hammer on for those. Next, there's little ornaments which I add in later on. So I I first take the main notes. Dum, bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'll show you really quickly how I do that. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. So then I listened again and heard those little ornaments. Dun, 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 bum. So these are these are thirty second notes. And I want those to hammer on together. Um, and the important thing is to make sure that auto hammer on is set here. This is important. That way you don't have to trigger on these hammer ons, which um, I shouldn't have done, but it's okay. It's just redundant. So we have this little mordant. I want the top note to be a little softer. Da, da, da. And then it does another mordant right here. So I'll go ahead and get rid of these. Now, do you hear that they re-triggered or they re-picked every note? So I want them to kind of overlap. Next, I'm going to open up my modulation. And on these long notes, that's where I want the vibrato to happen. On the last note, I didn't really hear much vibrato, but there was some. Now in my vibrato settings, I want it to be fast and I want it to happen quickly. So I'll open up the settings. I'm going to take off auto mod because I want to trigger it myself. And I set the start time close to zero milliseconds. And then my mod time, which is this, the vibrato rate, I set it to 180. That way it can, it can be really quick. You can set it faster too. So the lower number is going to be faster. Now the harder part, which um, this is the part that I don't really like. I don't like how this sounds compared to the real thing because uh, it's not a natural tremolo. A tremolo is whenever you pick up and down really quickly on the same note. Um, so here I have five pickup notes going into the tremolo. And these are kind of separate, so they sound like they're picked individually rather than hammered on or legato. So here we have a C sharp five and D six is the repeat note. So it's essentially repeating that D sharp five. I could probably have gotten away with simply having it like this. But I don't like how that sounds. So we have a C sharp five tremolo to an E five tremolo with those repeats. And I set my grid to 30 second notes because it sounded pretty fast, but even tempoed. One thing you might want to do, although um, these higher notes don't have many samples to them, is to randomize your velocity. I set mine to 13%, something, something kind of low. 
And I also added variation to the timing because you'll want something really perfect because humans make mistakes. So I set my ticks to about eight and then I press quantize and it's going to randomize their timing just a little bit. And my last note is just a single note on the beat four with an upward bend. So I'm going to go to my pitch bend and it has a very slow bend. It's very simple. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this exercise and I hope it was helpful for you and answered some of your questions. If you want to shoot me an email and ask me how to create this certain track, I'm going to try to start doing that um, so I can get more engagement on my website and my YouTube channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel, if you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment below telling me what you thought about this. The project file and the MIDI file and the waves will be available on my website under the R&B Soul section of Ample Sound Electric Guitar, The Complete Course. Thanks for watching.